Okay, let's see how we import Photoshop files into InDesign. Well, the basic way is to go up to File, Place, Find Your Pictures. Now, I'm not going to worry about import options right now, so I'm just going to click Open. I get this floating icon. I click once and it's going to come in the full size of my Photoshop file. Okay, let me undo that. All right, now sometimes you want your file to fit inside a smaller box. You don't want it to be full size. So let's do, I'll use Control D, the keyboard command for place. Uh, I'll just double click this time. We're not going to worry about import options. I'll click and drag. And InDesign CS4 will keep this box proportional to the Photoshop file. It'll be the same aspect ratio and when you let go it fits into the box. Alright, let's delete that. Now sometimes you have a box that's already made. You know, your file requires your pictures to be in certain boxes. Let me turn on my other layer. I have some boxes already made. Now let's say we want to put that pyramid picture into this box. One way is I can select it. Do control D. I'll double click on that picture and it goes right in. Let's undo that. Now the box does not even have to be selected. Let's do it again. Control D. Double click on my picture here. All I have to do is hover over the box and it'll go right in the box. And by the way, it doesn't matter which box you use. You can use the frame tool box or you can use your regular generic undefined box. It doesn't matter. InDesign is very forgiving that way. Okay, let me do an undo here. And now let's see what happens if we have a box that's not the same aspect ratio as our Photoshop file. So let me make this purposely a little elongated. And let's try to bring the picture in now. So control D, double click, there it goes. It's in the box, but it's not really sized too well. Um, we can move this around by getting our direct selection tool, or with CS4, I can just double click, turns into the hand tool, and I can move this around. You see the faded areas are the areas that are outside of my graphic box here. Uh, I can also scale the picture inside manually by grabbing a corner. I can hold the shift key and I can scale this up or down and move it around. Alright, let's do a couple undos. Now, there's another way we can resize things. Let me get my regular selection tool. I'll just select the container. Up on the top here, there's these fitting icons. This one here is fit into frame. Now watch what happens when I click on this. It fits the graphic into the frame but it's distorted. And I can see how much it's distorted by, let me switch to the direct selection tool, click on the picture, I can look up here and here's how it's been scaled. 86 and a half percent horizontally, 59.6 percent vertically. So this doesn't look too good. So let's do an undo. Another one you may like to use is this guy underneath. This is sort of the opposite of this guy. This is going to uh, fit frame to content. So watch what happens when I click on this. The frame grew in order to accommodate the content. So let's undo that. Now this one is very handy. This is a fit frame proportionally. It's going to scale up or scale down to make the whole picture fit inside the frame. Watch what happens. I click on this and you can see the whole picture was reduced proportionally to fit inside the box but you can see we have some extra space on the left and the right because the aspect ratio of these of the content and the frame are not the same. 
So let's undo that, Control Z. Let's see this guy here. This guy is fill frame proportionally. Watch what happens when I click on this. So this is going to reduce or, or enlarge in order to fill the frame proportionally, but what's going to happen is some of the picture is going to be cropped. There we go. You can see the top and the bottom was cropped off, but it was enlarged proportionally so that it would fill the frame. This last guy here, this just centers the content into the frame. So I'll click on this, and there we go, it's centered. And then, like I just showed you, if you want to move it around, you can double click, you get the hand tool, and you can reposition this. Okay, now we're going to bring in multiple images at the same time into InDesign using Bridge. Let me click on my Bridge. Here we go. Uh, I'm already in compact mode, that's why it's so small. Let me drag my pictures in here. Now you see there's an icon there, a floating icon, but only there's a number five there now. That's telling us there's five images are loaded into this icon. So now all I have to do is click over these boxes to place the images. But now you see all these images are coming in full sized when I put these in the boxes. So I would have to resize these. Uh, but we can do this ahead of time by setting the properties of the uh, graphic boxes. Let, let's do it undo here. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the graphic boxes, right click, go to fitting. Now we only have one option here since there are no graphics in the boxes. I can preset my fitting options. Let's go here. I'm going to do fill frame proportionally. Keep this in the center. And I'm going to say OK. Now let's get my images again. Drag into InDesign. Let's get my bridge out of the way. And now when I click over these boxes, they're automatically resized the way I specified. And also, it doesn't matter whether you do this now. You know, you do it beforehand. You can also do it after you put the pictures in. So you can resize all these graphics all at once. So you can take a look at my other video, which gives you some uh, scaling tips with InDesign. And also, watch out for my uh, next video, which will be how to place Illustrator files into InDesign. Okay, thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye.